Greetings, YouTube. Once again, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks, thanks for clicking on this video, I should say. Uh, sometimes in life, things just work out. And today, it just so happens that we are in the midst of a level up event. And I have a new champion to level up. So I always said to myself, I would keep enough resources to where if I somehow pulled at least a five star, although now I guess you can pull a six star version of the new featured champion, I would at least have enough resources to take that champion to rank three. And it looks like I do have Mr. Ryan Seacrest himself. At least that's how he looks. Look at this guy. He's just talking about getting lit. I think that phrase is officially leaving the vocabulary after I just said it. My students use it for like everything. I, I just don't get it. I used to think it was some form for intoxication. And now it's like, I'm really excited to watch a Netflix show. It's going to be lit. And I'm like, is alcohol going to be involved? And they're like, why are you asking that? And then I'm, you know, old. So, uh, yeah. But I will say this. The animation for Human Torch is incredible. And I, uh, I have to give the Kabam team full props for this because I have been beyond impressed with not only every animation in terms of the Special 1, Special 2, and one of the coolest, if not the coolest Special 3 I've seen, but uh, also just that constant state of inferno that uh, is surrounding this man. So, uh, like I said, I am going to take him straight up from rank 1 to rank 3. And I do indeed have the Tier 1 Alphas, the Tier 4 Catalysts, and the Tier 4 Basics to do just that. I'll be getting two of those back tomorrow, I believe, when the Tier 4 Basic Arena comes a calling. So pretty excited about that as well. Of course, every time I attempt to rank up, there's always some problem connecting to the network. I'm sure you watching this know the struggle of the rank up issues with the server connection, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna go on by and, uh, oh, let's see if I just do that, if we'll at least save those and then we'll do that. And let's see what the PI is. I'm guessing what, about 5,300 unawakened? It's generally what happens with a unawakened five star. It's 6,300, okay. Wow, this guy's got some pretty high prestige, at least. That's what it seems. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back and let's check this guy out and see what he looks like. You've got 1,400 attack and 15,000 health. Hmm, I wonder who those other Synergy team members are. Just, I have no idea who they are, but whoever they are, I'm sure they're just fantastic. Uh, the thing, who I only have is a three-star... Iceman, who I'm very excited to throw on because I look forward to taking that guy up even more. Cap and Killmonger and Medusa and Rogue. So here's what we're going to do. I don't want to test this person against Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, that man deserves a better health care plan. He just gets absolutely slaughtered every time somebody tests him out. So we're not going to... We're not going to go for him. We're going to throw in some of the synergy, right? We're going to... Now, I, I had somebody tell me, I might be the only person who didn't know this. And I, I, I'm i going to be honest. I'm just, I'm just really dumb when it comes to obvious things in this game. You wouldn't believe the, uh, the things that I didn't know for a very long time. But, uh, you know, they've said to make it really easier. You see that thing icon? You just grab it and you just drag it and you drop it. And he automatically gets in. I didn't know that. I've been playing this game for like four years. I didn't know that. Like, is that pathetic? Probably, right? But I seriously, I seriously didn't know it. So I will say I want to keep Ronin in just for the easy kill on the boss. Even at master mode, it's still nice. My Ronin is rank three. So I'm going to take out Mr. Blade and put in Ronin. But the rest, we shall stay for this quest. Now, I don't know how many fights we'll do. I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. But one thing that I really love about some bleed stacking champions is the literal ability to stack bleeds. So I am a huge fan of, say, um, people like uh, X-23 and OG Black Panther just to be able to stack bleeds. And so this guy can't stack bleeds, but what he can do 
is stack incinerates. So we're just going to check out the damage, of course, on Awaken, rank 3, and we'll see what happens. And as always, if you hear this annoying tapping sound, I'm just beating the crap out of my screen protector. Don't mind me. I apparently have some frustration issues. I have really big hands. Most people don't know this, and it freaks some people out at New York City Comic Con. But I am six foot three. I have very big hands. So I guess I just need to use those big hands to smash things. And that was really dumb. I love doing this and looking like a noob on camera. We are going to try to get that special too. There we go. And, oh, stun duration. Gotta love that. And we've stacked five amounts of incinerate damage, doing about 129 per tick. That's pretty cool. I might do a parry followed by a heavy just to have some fun. Let's try that. Sure. All right, so obviously not the cleanest fight, but stacking those five incinerates was a lot of fun. And uh, I guess I'll try to do a special three at some point, though I'm immediately encountering my brother, the Human Torch himself, for this next fight. And uh, I don't think that's going to be a very good idea to bring Human Torch against Human Torch. So let's bring in Mr. Killmonger. And you can just see some really bad Killmonger play. Every time I do fights, I could not get hit and I could have 100%. And it's still people who say, you suck. You suck. I hate you. I'm going to dislike every one of your videos. And I'm like, well, at least a dislike is still a view, right? Even if you hate me. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's kind of nerve-wracking to do gameplay footage where you give people the ability to sound like you've never touched anything in your life. But uh, all right, we'll get ready for a special too. But most of you are kind and at least not offensive, so I appreciate. I appreciate that. Okay. All right, fight's almost over. I'm a big fan of Killmonger. My one critique of him is that unlike aforementioned X-23 or Wolverine or OG Black Panther, etc., he doesn't stack bleeds. I think if he did, he would be so much more OP and higher on my list of skill champions. So, all right, here we go. Let's fight Mr. Hulk. Let's do this, and let's see if we can get to a special three. I also uh, just want to use this opportunity to say if there's a special synergy team you think would be really good for this guy, again, I only have a three-star thing. I'm hoping for that to change with the new five-star featured crystal, which I will open on certain live streams. As a reminder, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, though on Tuesdays it's usually 15 minutes to half an hour later. And now I'm going to be in a sort of volunteer bowling league, not that you care, on Wednesday night. So I'm going to be doing a super late night stream at like 11 p.m. Central Standard Time for bowling. But uh, otherwise, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're going to be doing the usual time. And we're having some fun stacking those incinerates. I think he is such a fun champ to play, y'all. Um, just stress-free and low-maintenance. I, I would argue this is the most beautiful, badass special three we've ever seen. It's just, look at that. That was like a nuclear explosion. Talk about on fire. And if that analogy didn't warm you up, I'm sure other puns will. So, yeah, I mean, I, it's fun, right? This, this guy just looks like a lot of fun. And the fun thing about him, too, is just like the thing, we don't even know half of his synergies yet because the Fantastic Four is yet to be released besides the thing. Now let's let's take the class disadvantage and let's go against the OG Stack Some Bleed Black Panther. And I did want to try to do the special three and then see what happened after. I'm just fighting too well. I'm stacking too many incinerates. But yeah, I mean, it's it does a considerable amount of damage. All those 62s and 66s that are going by that does affect the health pretty good. And after that first fight, I don't want to jinx myself, but I don't think I've gotten hit. I'm a very defensive player. Perry is my best friend. Several people will say, you know, you need to, you need to do um, like intercepting more. And I'm like, yeah, probably, but it's not worth the cost benefit of getting wrecked. I just parry and then I evade or bait out specials, unlike this guy right now. 
There we go. And then I, you know, I rinse and repeat. And that works for me. It's worked for me for years. Not a perfect science, ironically, since we're talking about a science champion, but it's what I enjoy. And in the end, this game is about fun, right? Okay. Let's try a special three. And then let's have some fun after. He's still got a little health left, right? 32%. And ticking. Let's see how much he goes from this final hit. 32 to 26. Okay, so it's only 6% damage for that final animation. But we're flaming on. We're like in California and Colorado. We're flaming on so much. Oh, there's an intercept for you haters. <laughs> he's, just, he's a fun champion. What can I say? He's a lot of fun. And I, I don't think we've even reached the pinnacle. Obviously, there are certain things I'm sure people are going to say. You should have done this with this and this. I'm just taking this toy fresh out of the box. This is all a trial run. Stacking incinerates was was my main goal. So I've done that, and I've, I've shown some specials. Maybe some people will say you should do something like spamming a special one more. I don't know, but uh, it's just it's fun. It's fun, and I love solid champions who are introductions to the game. Maybe this guy isn't the best defender. Maybe there'll be some nodes that who knows he's really good as a defensive whiz. But regardless, he is certainly supposed to be made as an attacker. And a new offensive champion, and look, I got wrecked again, especially for the science class, is one that uh, we will be very much appreciative of. I lost my streak, and it was against Ronin, of all people. All right, let's, let's do some special ones. That didn't really do much, did it? Okay, I've got some incinerates, three, and then we've stacked on. Okay, I'm not a big fan of that special one, not going to lie. It's pretty weak. Not impressive at all. Should save for the special two or the special three. That is my real unprofessional real-time analysis. But he's now at a medium temperature. That's hot. And Dronin's gone. Took more hits than I would have liked. In fact, I took five. But whatever. Sometimes in this game, you're going to get hit on. You just can't help it. So, yeah, super fun to play. I, uh, I'm very excited to test out this champion more. And I'm also thankful that I'm about to clear the final chapter of the master mode as I've already done so with uh, the uncollected and I don't know why I clicked Ronin because we're going to do one more fight with Human Torch I'm going to give some final thoughts thanks for clicking on this video again for sticking around it's the first time I've ever had early access to the 5 star version of this champion now of course you have the elites out there who say it's clickbait if you say you've got good luck and it's not a 6 star uh, I think that First off, I think that, that view in general is just really short-sighted because, yeah, getting a 6-star is automatically like getting a 5-star at rank 4, but the rank-up materials it takes to take a 6-star to rank 2 now are so, so massive, especially with Tier 5 basics being 3 fully formed, that for, for people to say 6-stars are the new 5-stars, unless you suddenly get Tier 5 basic like it's nothing, uh, it's going to be still a long grind especially for those of you who aren't in Master or even Platinum Alliances like me, to take a 6-star easily to rank 2. It's going to be much more cost-effective to take a 5-star to rank 5. Also, when you say 6-stars are the new 5-stars, that doesn't take into account the massive amount of top-tier 5-stars that may never be introduced as 6-stars to protect the balance of the game, which does suck since we've never seen a 5-star Scarlet Witch or, like Wolverine, and yet, Kabam says that would still break the game, so apparently it would just not be worth Act 6, as we know you can't bring in 4 stars. Well, there you have it. I uh, I really enjoy fighting with this champion. I think that he's super fun to play with. Obviously, he's not awakened. He's rank 3. I'm just throwing on some synergies that are recommended from him. But in general, uh, I give two Prof Hoff thumbs up. Not sure what that means in terms of rating system, as I've never used that rating system before, and it's kind of just off the top of my head. Pretty obvious, probably. But uh, yeah. I really enjoyed raking this guy up, going through master mode with him. He seems to melt uh, def defenders and enemies with that incinerate. And the nice thing about melting with incinerate is that unlike bleed, most people don't have incinerate immunity, unlike bleed where quite a few champions are bleed immune. So he, he kind of is uh, taking the contest to that next step where he's able to stack something that not a lot of people can counter, at least on their own. So I'm a fan. 
torch the competition. He's human after all. And thank you for putting up with all the other bad puns I made in this video to the 6% that listened every second of this. I always appreciate how you uh, take the time to validate my commentary as I do try to wear out my microphone on a daily basis. Have a great Tuesday, y'all. Or if you're across the pond with a uh, streak of insomnia, happy Wednesday morning.